Hey, what's up you guys? This is Holly with Freaking Vegas. I'm making a video because I had ordered something and it's come in and I, I'm just really excited about it and I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> um, if this video is going to go up after the other video, but um, I'm going to be making a video about like what, what happened, like what I'm what I'm dealing with kind of save that for that video anyway this doesn't have any external markings but um, right before things went bad I ordered from overseas I ordered a perfume and I ordered from Dior so my Dior package has arrived. I've purchased from Dior in store. I've always loved the experience that the in store. Um, how do you open this? It's like glued. I've always loved the experience of the in store of purchasing. Um, this is the first time I've ever purchased from them. Oh, I found it. Okay. It's the first time I've ever purchased from them online. So I'm not sure what to expect. Kind of why I wanted to unbox on camera. So literally I am just opening this now. It's glued down. <laughs> okay. So there's the inside. Oh, Oh, lovely. Okay. So this I'm assuming is the, stay open. Oh my God. I'm assuming is the receipt, the packing slip. Yes. Packing slip, etc. I'm recording, right? Oh my God. So that's the receipt. I did also send myself a note because like I said, Francis Kershaw, Francis Yeah, Francis Kershaw. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that I send myself notes whenever I order fancy stuff online. So this is what the box looks like. So fancy, fancy Nancy. That's what we got here. All right. So this has the seal. Can this come off? Uh... There we go. Alrighty. Sway. Ooh, oh my god. This is why I like ordering online because it's so flippin' fancy, man. So here's the note that I've sent myself. It has a little Christian door down here. Oh, it's sealed. Oh, it's you can reseal it. Oh my god, the smallest things are exciting to you guys don't even know. Let this summer be the one you dreamed of, blessed be. That's a note I sent myself. I love when I do that. Anyway, I'm gonna cry because I haven't had any social interactions with normal people for like a decade, it feels like. They sent a dust bag. What? I didn't order that kind of thing, so... All right, ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. If you are wondering, my friends and I, not even me, but my two friends used to call each other Fancy Nancy and Fancy something else, and sometimes it just gets stuck in my head. Oh, oh, that's what the dust bag's for. So I got a free gift with my purchase, and it's this Dior case. It's just a... Um, makeup case or like brush roll kit or anything like that you can put something here and then you can put something in the top part that's what the dust bag is for I was like what the frick man <laughs> that's a nice like case too it's vinyl it's just like vinyl I'm trying not to get it in my coffee um, another free gift with purchase is a Dior Sauvage kit. Um, this is, okay, that's, 
the information booklet. So this just slides out. It's a little bit stuck. There we go. And there's the Sauvage Shower Gel and the Sauvage Eau de Parfum. It's the mini. I'll probably give this as a gift to my husband for Father's Day. What day is Father's Day? Is it this Sunday? Yeah, I'll probably give him that. I mean, not just this, but as amongst the gifts. And then this is my little sample bag. I'm getting to the good stuff, you guys, I promise. I picked out a sample of Amber Nui because I have heard that this smells quite a bit like um, Amber Aurea from Perfumum that I really like, but I haven't ever smelled it. And then I also chose the mini of Greed Dior. Um, this is so cute. I've never seen one of these tiny bottles before. That is too cute. Um, and this is super highly rated. Basically, I could have chosen this size in Amber Nui and, um, a sample size of Greed Dior. Basically, I could have chosen vice versa. Um, but I decided to get the sample size of Amber Nui because I already have Amber fragrances out the wazoo. And greed your something that I haven't tried and that is pretty hyped up, so thought I'd give it a go. And now, what else? I mean, there is literally a Dior pillow in here. I don't know what it is. It's like they're padding. It's like they're packing. What the F, you guys? How come nobody told me? <laughs> That's It's like filled with packing and stuff. And then we have the star of the show, of course. I had been seeing people talk about this. I've been thinking about it a lot. I really wanted it, but I just hadn't gotten a chance to go into the Dior store. And... I was online and I'm like, you know what? I don't even have the energy. I don't want to go into a store. I'm just going to order. This is Eden Rock. I already know that it's going to be a fairly straightforward. I'm trying to see if there's a perforation. There it is. But it's going to be a very straightforward um, white floral type of fragrance, but I'm hoping it leans more towards like the prodigious and less towards like just a regular like, white florally floral, if that makes sense. So Christian Dior fragrances come in these round tubes. These are the Maison Christian Dior's, they like the Privé line. And this is the 4.2 ounce. The color is beautiful. The color is stunning. It's actually more orange than yellow. Magnetic cap. Can't smell anything. I'm going to just spray it into the lid. Mm, yeah. It's just that marine white floral, minerally marine floral, green, woody, the kind of fragrance that smells like an actual beach and not like suntan. See how the lasting power is. Oh my God, I'm sorry about my, my giant bruise. It's beautiful. It's very citrusy on the skin, but it still has that marine accord. It still has those floral notes. I'll put the notes on the screen, but they're pretty basic summer scent fragrance notes. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. Is it worth paying, you know, $280 for? Probably not. But to me, I really wanted to have this. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I wanted to have it. It was, must be mine, basically. 
So that is my opening unboxing from Dior and my first impression of Eden Rock. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. I have another video. I have actually, well, I will. I have to film. I'm going to be filming um, a video, a haul video with the perfumes that I did purchase while I was kind of um, going through some, going through it, because that's one of my problems is that I tend to buy stuff. So at least I will show you what I bought, and I hope that you'll be looking forward to it. Because it's some, I got some cool stuff, so I'm kind of eager to show you. Anyway. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you again on the next one. Like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you have any thoughts on Eden Rock, Christian Dior fragrances, whatever, the buying process, whatever. Let me know down below. See you then. Bye.